Hi, I'm Kelly from North Shore Eye Care. I'm with Dr. Faye Knoll, and I've asked her to answer a few questions about corneal transplant. How are you? Good, thank you. Okay, so I know that you do a lot of different procedures as an ophthalmologist here and a corneal specialist. So I want to just touch on what exactly um, is a corneal transplant? Why would one be done? Sure. Let me start off by saying there's two things that have to be the case in order for you to see well through your cornea. Okay. One, the cornea, which is at the front of your eye, has to be thin and clear like a piece of glass so you can see through it. Uh, number two, its shape is really important um, for your ability to see. It has to be shaped just right because it refracts light. So if either of those two things are compromised, you're not going to see well. If the cornea is swollen or if it's cloudy and scarred or if it's misshapen, you're going to have terrible vision. In those cases, that might be a time when you have to start thinking about a cornea transplant. So um, what we do is we literally get a donor cornea, um, and I take the patient's cornea, I remove their cornea with like a punch, right, almost like a cookie cutter, and then I take the donor cornea and I suture it into place. Okay, and there are a lot of different type of conditions that would require, well, lead up to maybe having a corneal transplant? Right, right. So um, an example. <clears throat> so keratoconus would be one where you'd okay. have to do a full thickness cornea transplant. There are other types of corneal conditions where you do a cornea transplant, but it could be like a partial cornea transplant. Something that I do is called a DSEC, which okay. stands for decimate stripping automated endothelial keratoplasty. And basically uh, somebody with like Fuchs dystrophy, where they have an abnormality just in a certain layer of the cornea, the inside layer of the cornea, mm -hmm. the endothelial cells. So um, instead of replacing their entire cornea, I could take a donor cornea and just take that very inside layer of the cornea and uh, transplant it into the new. So I don't have to give them a whole new cornea, just a part of a new cornea. Um, so it's still a cornea transplant, but it's less invasive smaller um, incision, less sutures, so it, it's really nice. Okay, and where do these donor cornea come from? Um, good question. <laughs> so we get them from an eye bank, and the eye bank, um, you know, it's somebody who unfortunately died, but donated their eyes. Mm -hmm. And you know, the cornea is, um, immune, we call it immune privilege. It doesn't have blood vessels um, that grow into it. it it's so you don't have to be blood matched, you know, like if you're getting, let's say, a kidney transplant, you have to find like a match. Right. This is not the case with a cornea. So um, it's a great thing when people donate their eyes because um, it, can, it can really be utilized by so many different people. You don't have to worry about the match thing. But that's something else nice to uh, remember because people often, when I uh, schedule them for a cornea transplant, they're like, oh, do I have to go on a wait list? Am I going to have to wait? And in this country, at least, no, really. If I order a cornea, I'm going to get a cornea because I'm not looking for a specific match. Yeah, so they don't have to worry then? Or am I, I mean, the cornea about it not <laughs> taking? Well, you can still get failure or okay. rejection, but it's not going to be because it wasn't, you know, matched. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they check the corneas, the patients check for HIV and syphilis and hepatitis and all those kinds of things. So they're negative for all those diseases, okay. but it doesn't have to be like a match the way if you a kidney, you know, right. it has to be matched. Okay. Where is that procedure done? So I perform all my cornea transplants at the hospital. Okay. Um, I, I usually go to St. Catharines, okay. which is in, in Smithtown, mm -hmm. um, but I can also, I also would occasionally do it at um, Cytomastic Hospital. Okay. Um, is this something, well, it should be, I would imagine, but it's covered by insurance? Absolutely. This procedure is covered by insurance. Okay. And then uh, just briefly, what is the recovery like for a procedure like this? So for a DSEC, which is the partial cornea transplant, the recovery is much quicker. Okay. So I usually tell my patients, you're going to start seeing better within four to six weeks. Okay. With a full thickness cornea transplant, the recovery is a little bit slower. <clears throat> and actually, your best visual potential is could take up to a year oh, with okay. a cornea transplant. But um, the visual potential could be very good. It just takes a little bit longer. Right. But it's worth the wait. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for My answering my questions. If you would like to schedule an appointment with Dr. Knoll, who is in our Smithtown office, Deer Park and Holbrook, you can make an appointment by calling 631-265-8780 and she would be happy to meet with you. Thank you.